Hi, this is Dave Bartosowicz. You know, I wanted to show you something that that I believe is is a very difficult thing that Joseph Smith did, and he chose to have many wives. You know, there are a lot of people who basically don't believe that Joseph Smith was a polygamist for hundreds of years, a little over 100 something years, the LDS Church didn't proclaim that Joseph Smith had, had wives and he was a polygamist. But now it's factually based. They came out and revealed it. And you could see what you're looking at as an example of all the wives that he actually had. Look at them. Sina Huntington Jacobs, Persendian Huntington Buell, Agnes Coolbrith, Silver Sessions Lions keeps going on and on and on and on and on. Think about that. Joseph Smith, the prophet of the LDS Church, was a polygamist. And not only a polygamist, but a polyandrous. Someone who also married wives who were already married to other husbands. That's a big thing. You trust this man. You believe this, that this man was a prophet of your church. Take a look at the wives who are probably very affected and put their trust in this prophet who committed their lives to him. And now it's revealed, finally, that he had this many wives, or even more. It's a sad thing, but it actually All right, you know. One of the reasons why I came out of the LDS faith, one, was when I found out that he had a, a, a wife, a, a young woman, that was the housemaid of Emma and Joseph. And it bothered me. And Emma found that he was having intimate relationships with the 16-year-old young woman as he was married. It concerned me greatly when I found that out. I found, how could a prophet of God be immoral and do such a thing. Well, this is an example of the second wife. Now, we have, if you want to take a look and see, this is an example of all the wives that Joseph Smith had. He had over 34 wives. You could take a look. But I want to interview Fanny because you had an impact on me, Fanny. And um, Fanny, you were 16 years old. How, how did it happen that you became the wife of Joseph Smith? Um, I... He, people told him that I was really nice, and um, he really liked me, so I came to live with him and Emma at the house, and I helped clean and take care of the kids. You took care of the kids. How did it happen? Did he start having a relationship with you? He started liking you more? Um, How many do we have? We have yeah. Actually, yeah. And were, uh, did, were your parents around? I mean, did your parents live in the same area? <laughs> that's a personal question. That's a personal that's question. Personal. Okay. So that's a little too too personal. You don't want to go that direction. How long did it take before you became a wife of Joseph Smith? Um, a few years. A few years? All right. And then you left. You left him, right? I believe. Did you stay? How long were you with him? Um, I'm not sure how long I was with him, but um, after the public found out about our love, I was forced out of the house by Emma and I had to go stay with a friend's family. Okay, but you were officially married temporarily, spiritually with him. All right, I'm doing the show again. There's, there's some other women that Joseph Smith married that I want to talk about. One of those, those women, you know, it's hard. We can't imagine a prophet of God marrying a, a woman who's already been married and who is currently married with someone else. And that doesn't make sense to us, right? Because what is that? Isn't that adultery? You don't do that. But it's called polyandry. And he created a way to, to marry other wives who are already married. So one of those wives is Marinda Johnson Hyde. Marinda, now you were married to Orson Hyde. I was, yeah. Um, Orson and I met in 1833, married in 1834, and Orson, my husband, went on to become a well-known apostle um, in the, the, the newly founded Mormon church. Um, my husband and I had three children, and then we moved on as the Mormons moved um, to uh, Nauvoo, Illinois. And then as his stature rose in the church, he was sent on a three-year mission to Palestine. Wow. Um, while he was gone on his mission, it was three years, and I had three young children. 
um, due to the hardship, um, it was revealed to Joseph Smith late in 1841 that he should take note of my situation, care for me. So in 1842, while still married to my husband Orson, Joseph Smith and I also married. Um, how did that happen? How, did, how does that work? That he was able to do that, and didn't you still feel loyal to to Orson? Um, I yeah, I mean I, I do feel, but also he's the prophet, and God told him to, you know, that I'm I'm to obey him, and you know, to obey God, and and enter into polyandry by also being married to the prophet. So what happened? You were married to him. Um, I'm sure you met him a number of times. Mm -hmm. You felt like one of his wives, like here. Now, what happened to Orson when he came back? Um, when he came back, um, a lot of uh, us who were also married were told to keep it a secret, you know, so I obeyed the prophet in that. Um, and then shortly after Orson came back from his mission to Palestine, um, po um, polygamy was also revealed to him as it was secretly to other higher up authorities within the Mormon church. And so he obeyed also and he married um, two other women. So I had two, um, w through Orson, I had two sister wives besides the sister wives I had through Joseph Smith. How did that work? Was that really confusing? I mean, that seems kind of. It, it was, yeah, because, out there. you know, in, in Doctrine and Covenants 132, it was revealed that, you know, we need to be in polygamy um, in order to receive exaltation. So, what does that mean, exaltation? Um, exaltation means, um, basically, it means becoming, you repeat the process of our Heavenly Father. So, that means that Orson and I have spirit children throughout eternity to populate the own planet of which he will be a god and choose a savior over etc just like oh, heavenly so those father are the did the promises on this. that were given to him. yeah that those plain and precious truths that we were so seeking after wow and um, you know it was it was difficult though because like who am I, am I going to be sealed to you know because yeah. they they say families are forever so do you have two husbands in the the eternal I'm, I'm life i'm sealed to both sealed to both Families are forever, so I, I guess um, since you know God has flesh and bones, I guess I'll have to transport somehow between the two or okay. something like that. Okay. Um, and then the plot thickens a little bit more because after he died in, after Joseph Smith died in 1844, Orson went on to take seven more wives, ten total, and then after that, I just couldn't take it, and I really did reach a breaking point, wow. and I Orson and I divorced in 1870. Oh wow! And we had a total of ten children. Wow, you're very busy. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to hear all that. <laughs> That's too bad. But thank you Not for your the comments. the 12th wife of Joseph Smith, Elizabeth Davis Durfee. Now, Elizabeth, um, you were also married to someone else. I was. Right? Happily married. Actually, I had two husbands even before Mr. Durfee. One died in a shipwreck. One died out of illness. And then Mr. Durfee had lost his wife. We combined our families. We had ten children total. Wow. Ten children total for a busy household. And Mr. Durfee was an upstanding man in the Mormon church. He was a respected leader in the Mormon church. Some say that Joseph Smith married women that had unbelieving husbands. That wasn't the case. My, my husband was an upstanding man in the Mormon church and Joseph Smith still approached me and as, as with all of us when Joseph Smith approached us it wasn't you know I want to marry you I, I love you it was always God has spoken to me that you are to marry me wow. so for us to refuse that was not a personal refusal it would be refusing the prophet of God mm. and even greater than that it would be refusing the God in heaven that we long to spend eternity with and if we were to say no to this request, we would be compromising our chance to spend eternity in the celestial heavens. Wow. Okay, so you really put a lot of faith, trust, and hope in Joseph Smith. Well, that was the declaring only way. that he said, God has said this, and, that and you that, are mine. Well, even today, the only way for a Mormon woman to get to heaven is at the request of her husband. Wow. Wow. And then to my shame. So what happened to Javis uh, Durfee? I mean, your husband, when he found out that you got married, oh. did it break his heart? Well, I would have thought so, but he too had conflicting emotions. Here the prophet of God that he followed so religiously with all of his heart, soul, and being. He was one of Joseph Smith's right-hand mans. He was sent off after mission after mission. And of course, you have to think what was an ulterior motive when Joseph Smith would send my husband off. Mm. My household is empty, wow. so a little bit uh, subterfuge there. But I do have to tell you something else to my sure. shame. 
to my shame, I was also known in that time as a mother of Israel. Being one of the older wives of Joseph Smith, he would send me to convince some of the younger ladies. Now, I don't know if you know this, but there were 10 girls that were 19 and under. There was a set of two 14-year-olds. There were two 16-year-olds. There was a mother and a daughter that he married. There were two sisters that he married. Can you can you just think of the, the different commands that were that were broken, coveting, lying, deception? Because most of us didn't know about each other. His first wife only knew about four. She had told Joseph Smith she would divorce him if he even had one, and then she ac was acquiesced. So I got to tell you, it weighs heavily upon my conscience. One girl specifically comes to my mind, Emily. Joseph Smith had asked her if she would receive a secret letter from him and she would you know her ears were burned she was just thought scandalous because this was a, a, an age of absolute purity so I was sent to teach her the ways to talk her into more to, to polygamy so that must arranged, hard for you. it was we arranged here the man I was sharing a bed with you, you talk about hard absolutely uh, so I was there when they met one di night at Mr. Kimball's home that night they were married that night, he was not in my bed. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Thanks for uh, explaining your personal feelings about that. Thank you. And right here, we have the 13th wife, Sarah Kingsley Cleveland. Now, you're age of 53. Tell me your story here. You married Joseph. You were also married to John Cleveland. What happened to him? Um, John was actually, we lived in a home in uh, Quincy, Illinois, with our two children. We had a boy and a girl, both named Augustus was our girl, and Alexander was our boy. We were friends with Emma and Joseph. While Joseph was in jail, we helped home Emma and her children, and they stayed at our home for a couple of weeks until Joseph returned. Then a little bit after Joseph living with us and their family for about two, three weeks or so, they had moved to Navajo, and soon after we followed with them as they provided us with a home. So me, my two kids, and my husband had followed him and his family to Navajo. I had been a counselor for uh, Emma for our Relief Society. I had been um, an elder help to her and a guide and a counselor to help her. Um, so we have been really close with Emma. So what happened though, John? Was he still living with you? Uh, he when was this still occurred? living with me. He was with me the whole time. Oh, so he lived with you and then Joseph allowed uh, um, your husband John allowed Joseph to marry you still? Um, well, it was truly of what, you know, what God wanted as Joseph had talked about. You know, my husband liked Mormonism, but he wasn't truly a believer and a follower as my daughter and I were. Yeah, they, oh, okay. So my son and my husband were okay with it and, you know, open and to listening, but they weren't truly followers. Okay. So ultimately you were still married to John and Joseph figured out a way to marry you. Absolutely. Okay. So that must have been a lot of hardship. It was a lot, a lot of, of trial hardship. going yeah. through that relation, those relationships. Did you break up with your husband? Did you divorce him? Uh, no, I didn't. After a while, he had died of illness, unfortunately. Okay. Well, wow. You know, I just got to tell you, um, being here down in Manti, seeing all the the women, seeing the three women that we just actually interviewed. Uh, they were married to other men. When you see this and, and feel, and I hope that you felt it, you get a sense of, this is crazy. I'm sorry, but it's crazy. But this is what many LDS people cherish their prophet. They praise him, praise the man. I don't know how you can, but you praise him. I hope that you think about what occurred here today and that what you saw and really think about who you're really praising. There's only one you should be praising, and that's Jesus himself. Praise him, always, not a man. This is the 34 wives that Joseph Smith had. What do you think? Do you think it's a, a positive I, thing? I, I did not know Joseph Smith had 30, 36 or 34 Yeah, yeah, wives. Joseph Smith had 34 wives. Wow. These are all his wives. And as a matter of fact, you'll see he married like Nancy Winchester is 14, 19. Yeah. These were all his wives from the these, very beginning. These are... And this has also come from your faith. Uh, the LDS Church came out last year and said that he had 34 wives. Oh, I, 
I don't know anything about that. Yeah, no, it came out. It actually was in the essays. It's it's all validated in the LDS.org. Oh, okay. So these are his wives. These are who, how old they were. Did you you didn't know that Joe Smith had, uh, no. had this many wives? No. How does that make you feel as a man? Uh, You're a man. How many wives do you have? One. I, I have, have one. one. Yes, I only have one wife. <laughs> so how does that make you feel like when you you see that there's I, 34 wives? I don't know. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, it's something that um, they believe uh, of, of doing. If he had 34 wives, then he had 34 wives. Do you think that was the right thing to do? To have well, you know, during that 34? time, during that time when uh, when it was, uh, I guess, when it was possible to have many wives, they went ahead and did it. <laughs> But you know, we don't think about those things nowadays. I don't we know. Don't, we, we, we don't think that we should. Wasn't that illegal to have 34 wives to be married more than one wife? Isn't that, I mean, in our laws, yeah. it's, it's illegal not to, you know, you're only supposed to have one wife. Uh -huh. So isn't it illegal to have like more than one wife? I, I mean, I know the Supreme Court just came out today uh -huh. and you could be married now to a gay person. Yeah. It's legal. Uh -huh. So, but they didn't say that you could be married more than one no. gay person no. or whatever. This, so, is, this is something that has been done a long time ago. Yeah, in and, 1840s, you know, if, if they want to go ahead and bring it up today, yeah, you don't they, like they it. Should it. Do you like this? Do you think it's the right thing? If this happened today in your church, would that bother you? If that bothered me, yes, it would. It would bother you. Yes, it would bother me. Okay. But I would never, you know, I, I would never stay away from it. Yeah. I go to church because it's my my own thing. It's your own culture, yes. your own belief. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you for your You're your welcome. time. God bless. Thank you. The shock. Yeah. Does it make you like wonder, like, how could he have 34 wives as we are seeing? You're how old now? Yeah, You're 17? I'm 17. Okay, 17 years, 17, 18? I'm 18. Okay, man, can you imagine having 34 wives? No. <laughs> it wouldn't work, right? One wife is enough, right? Yeah. But this is actually real that Joseph Smith had four, 34 wives, and look at age 14, 28, 38. He actually married women that were already married. Did you know that? He married three women. That were already married. That's crazy. Is that crazy? Yeah. That's strange, isn't it? Yeah. That's but that's that's the prophet you guys believe in. Yes. So what we try to do is share this truth, try to help people to know that this is the facts. This is in your LDS.org. This just came out. So you cool. think it's crazy? Yeah, it's crazy. How about you? What do you think? Bother you? Unbelievable, huh? Haley. Yeah. All right, in front of me I have a, uh, actually a Christian this time, not a LDS believer, but your name is? Elizabeth Manley. Isn't she? Woo! Now, I don't like that name, Manley, for a woman, but, you know, I think you're more womanly. I have brothers. <laughs> it's good for them. Instead of Manley. But, hey, listen, I wanted to ask you, you're seeing all these wives today with just Smith wives, 34 wives. How does that make you feel? I mean, how old are you right now? I'm 16. Okay, so you would have been easily married by Joseph Smith. Um, he had 14-year-old girls, a number of them, and also a 16-year-old. So how does that make you feel when you think about all that? It's awful. I mean, it's totally revolting. Um, it is. The quote here that they have talks about, well, it totally proves him as a liar. I mean, I yeah. don't know how anybody can follow such a false prophet. Um, I think it's totally wrong, and I think that Mormons are deceived, and I hope that they will find Christ as their true Savior. Praise God. Thank you so much. Thank what you. a sweetheart. I got to tell you, it's been a great day. We've had so many incredible experiences today, meeting with so many LDS people as well as Christians. You know, I got to tell you, um, being here and experiencing Manti and seeing all these devout believers of Jesus Christ who are here dedicated to, to really um, help LDS people to understand what the truth is. Now, I want to share this because, you know, the experience that you saw tonight with many of the, the wives that Joseph Smith had, you could see that he had many wives, uh, 34 wives. You saw that today. I just got to say, you know, even though that was 170 years ago, 170 something or 80 years ago, the fact is that it happened. The fact is that he went to these women, very young, 14, 16, and older women, women who were married to other men, and he went to them and said, God told him that they should be married to him. Now, is that manipulation? Is that truly a prophet of God? You got to think about all these things. But I got to tell you overall, um, what an amazing day. And thank you for watching. I hope this really helped you out.
to understand a little bit more about what and who you believe in. Thanks for watching.